Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to take a quick look at the ROG Ryujin 3 water block. Uh, this has been announced. Um, you have seen it on Computex. I'm not Computex, I'm sorry, at CES earlier this year. Uh, I don't know the availability date, but I assume it would be very soon. Uh, so with that said, it's pretty obvious that this was sent to me by ASUS. Uh, it does come in black and white. Uh, the white one is not ready yet. Um, so unfortunately, I do not have one on hand to show you. Um, but some of you may be wondering, hmm, haven't I seen reusions and custom loops before? And you have. Reason being is, uh, all of those use adapters similar to this. Uh, this kind of adapter, this is one made by Modding Cafe, but obviously he's done this for Region 2 as well. Uh, these go into the standard AI, um, portions of the original AIO head, and the rest get adapted out. So this block removes the need for doing one of these. Um, so let's quickly get into it. Um, mine is obviously not a final sale sample, so it wasn't even sealed, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I do, I did open it, so it's not as pristine as it was a really, a, a, earlier. Um, so here we go, right off the, you get the block, it's upside down in the box. And when I pull out the block, it's going to look really familiar to you. This looks pretty much like the standard reusion. Uh, I can pull the cover off and untangle these wires here. And upon doing so, you'll notice the cover is pretty much directly from a reusion. Uh, I can show you guys. So to slightly differentiate a little bit, this is the reusion cover from an EVA edition, reusion 3. Uh, you'll notice that it's pretty much the same thing, minus the obviously aesthetics on the outside, but inside we are looking at the same thing. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, product reuse here. A uh, reason being is this is just an attempt to bring the product to market, not so much design something entirely new because that would have taken much more time. Now, obviously, if this sells well, then, you know, ASUS may look into, you know, developing other water blocks. So uh, what else we get in the box? We do get some fittings, which this is not frustration free packaging. So I'm going to tell you that uh, you do get mounting hardware, which is the same as the Reusion 3 AIO. That's not to be surprising at this point. And let's just take this out. And you'll notice you get four fittings. You get two 90 degree adapters. Um, they are pretty large. They say uh, ROG on the top uh, and have a raw guy slightly off center on each side. Okay. And let's take a look at the fittings themselves. Um, these are compression fittings, obviously, for 16 millimeter, from what I can tell. Pretty short 16. And. These are brass, so they're not aluminum. So don't worry about that. Uh, the way these work is you slide the tubing in and then you push this part in and then you put the compression collar on. Uh, these type of fittings do exist from Bits Power, Bisky, I think Barrow may even make one. Uh, but I don't know who is the OEM of these. There are many manufacturers of OEM water cooling parts in China, which I'm pretty sure this is where it's produced. So I can't really tell you, but I can, for sure, say that's not bits power because it doesn't feel like it. Okay, so let's go into the block. Um, we have the VRM fan, and this is a carryover from the region as well. I don't think it's necessary, but it's, I guess it doesn't hurt to have. You can always turn it off. And if we look at the... Okay, so let me do this first. Let me take this cover off so we can get a better view. Now, for those of you that haven't taken a region apart before, you can start with the three screws here. That's one. Oh. That's two. And the third one is right over here. Come on, don't lose them because it's gonna suck. Uh, okay, so this pulls right out. Okay, so let's take a look, not to get thermal paste on my hands. You'll notice that it is very simple. It's just pretty much the block gutted out. Um, and yeah, that's it. It's all plastic, um, except for the cold plate, just a little bit. I mean, it's like I said, it's a rush to market, pretty much reusing what already exists. And this is the other part. Now, what I'll do here is I'll bring in this a standard Reusion 3. And we can take a look at the differences. All right. So this is a standard Reusion 3. 
I've taken the cover off. You'll notice that from the side, you can see that this is the exact same thing, except for now we have plastic mold that fit a G14 thread rather than the barb style here. Uh, the, the board on top of the pump has two connectors that go to the original, uh, one being the VRM fan and the other being the pins to then connect to the top. All right, see these contact pins right here? This then feeds information through the USB 2 that's connected to your motherboard. Uh, the same concept applies here um, on this, on the water block version, right? But I'm not sure what it's passing outside of maybe just fan speed, right? You'll notice that there's even less, you see, you'll notice there's only two wires that pretty much is just uh, statistics, no control versus on here, you'll see that there's four wires where you have control and not just speed readout. Okay. So yeah, so this stuff is a little bit different. So obviously then the bottom insides should be a little bit different and they are. So you get this replacement board. Now I was told that this would still give you access to water temp. Um, I don't see how because there's no sensor connected to here, All right? Usually there should be a sensor of some kind that would then connect to this part and this part would then connect. So yeah, I, I don't see how that would give you liquid temp, uh, which is a shame um, because there are, as far as I know, there's only one water block on this market that is, uh, gives you a temp sensor in the block. And that is the thermal take one with the screen. Uh, obviously the EK super blocks do have them and the more expensive mono blocks have them, but the, yeah, uh, which is unfortunate because this does have all that kind of built in already, uh, which is one of the cool things about the SUSE AO is you can get the liquid temperature. And the reason being is uh, when we're talking about water cooling, like I've said many times in every video, you are cooling the water. You're not cooling your components. You're cooling your components as a result of cooling the water, but your focus is on the water temperature. So uh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, so we'll just find out. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. In terms of performance, I do not expect this to be any different than just a reusion. Um, if you're using a 360, pretty much gonna get the same temperatures, right? I mean, yes, you have a pump, but the pump is the flow rate's never been exactly an issue on an AIO, right? <laughs> so. If you have a large setup with multiple radiators, you may see better temperatures. But then again, at the same time, do not expect this water block to perform similar to like a heat killer block or something like that. Because they're not, they're not on the same level of design. And obviously the cold plate is not gonna be that, that kind of, and the jet plate and all that is not gonna have the same kind of testing and design and as a water block that was designed to be a water block from the get go, all right? So, also keep in mind that when you purchase a water block uh, for AM5 or whatever, those are designed with the intention of cooling that chip, right? So like a Ryzen version has a different cold plate, a jet plate, and this is designed to cool multiple arrays of different generations of chips. Uh, so that also does, you know, then affect its performance. But with that said, uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.